Happening today, we've been talking about the recent blood shortage here in Western New York and across the country, and today you can help out. That's right. Connect Life is hosting a blood drive for all to roll up their sleeves and donate. Day breaks. Lauren Hall is live this morning with the details. Morning, Lauren. Hey, good morning, Pete. Good morning, Melissa. Well, heading into the holiday weekend, giving blood is probably the last thing on your mind, but the reality is, is that the supply has been weighed down since the pandemic and the demand keeps going up, and that's because of a couple of things. People are scheduling those surgeries again, and there are also more trauma patients from things like gunshots from the uptick in violence, as well as car accidents and more. ECMC's chief medical officer, Dr. Brian Murray, says across the nation, the shortage has actually forced some hospitals to have to stop doing those elective surgeries, which hasn't happened here yet. These are some of the challenges we're facing, and um, as I say, we have managed to, to keep things going, but it's often a day to day count. And in fact, I get updated every morning here at the hospital on what our available blood products are, are on the shelf. And obviously, if, if they were to, to run too low, we might have to consider uh, cutting back on some of the, the things, uh, you know, short of emergencies. And again, we know that there is a blood drive today happening in Niagara Square. More opportunities to donate this weekend. So you may be wondering who qualifies to give blood and what kind of donors are they looking for? Well, they're always interested in anyone who is 16 years old, feeling well, and weighs 120 pounds. They're also always looking for that type O blood, but the hospitals aren't too picky. Connect Life's senior director of donor recruitment says all donors of all blood types and backgrounds are needed right now. Yeah, you know, Western New York is a diverse community, so there's a diverse base of patients going into hospitals who may need blood products for various things. And it's not only traumas, it's not only accidents, it's surgeries, it's people battling chronic illness, chronic forms of leukemia, of certain autoimmune diseases, of sickle cell anemia. These are people that may need transfusions every six to eight weeks for life in order to maintain a quality of life. So because we have such a diverse patient base, we need a diverse donor base. So of all, um, throughout all of our regions and of all ethnic backgrounds, it's really important that we have that blood on the shelves for all the people that need it. So where can you donate? Well, the Connect Life bus will be parked outside City Hall today from 9 to 3. You can also donate at any Connect Life Neighborhood Donation Center tomorrow and Saturday. If you do, you'll be entered to win Blue Jays tickets for later this month. Appointments for both are encouraged, and we have the details up on WGRZ.com. Peter Melissa, back over to you.